Grip socks. There's been an absolute explosion over the last year of grip sock companies just touting all of these different socks that you need and you must have, which I don't agree with, but that's another video that we will get into later. Today, we're gonna look at one of the cheapest grip socks on the market because you guys have been requesting it. What is that sock? It is the top spec sports grip sock. These can be had for only eight euros, which makes them cheaper than anything we have reviewed so far, including the Pure, including the Gain the Edge. But the question is, are they actually any good? And spoiler alert, the answer is no. But let me tell you why. Stick around. I put effort into the video. Come on. Remember to like it and get subscribed too. Roll the intro. So let's take a look at some grip socks. And you can see here, we've got the kind of cheaper style grip socks. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way, they're just all very similar. They're that tube sock style, that tennis sock style with rubber grip elements added. And they're not the same, or they don't have the same kind of technology as something like a light guard, a Falca, a true sock. They all fall into a very similar category. So they're actually very easy to compare. But back to the top spec sports socks. Why do I dislike these so much? We'll start with the material that they are made out of. This is the cheapest material, it's the least nice material out of every single sock that is here. Comfortable, easy, and I'm happy to say that. The socks it's closest to are the original Pure Grip socks and also the Gain the Edge, which should not come as a surprise considering that the Gain the Edge and the Pure are also the two other cheapest options available here. So these are in a similar bracket to that, but actually even worse. The elasticity here is actually okay, but these are a one size fits all sock. So I would expect to get a bit more elasticity to get a better fit. The overall shape of these isn't fantastic for fit either. And I found that the heel fit is actually pretty poor. Being one size fits all isn't a huge problem because literally as we go down here, there are many socks in this particular array that are one size fits all that actually do a reasonably good job. The tape design for example, example, do a much better job than these do because they are just more elastic and they do stretch more. But you also pay more for them, so a bit of give and take. Going back to the fit, these are not anatomically shaped in the end of the sock. So that means that they just run flat across on both socks. Whereas something like the Pure Grip socks, which are actually the only ones that do this, they have a shape to them. They kind of taper off at either side because that's the shape of your foot, and having socks that conform better to the shape of your foot is hugely beneficial. Again, most socks in this particular style or price range don't have that, so I'm not getting on them too much for that, but it doesn't have it, so let's not get excited about it. The grip itself on the top spec sports socks is also something that I don't like because this may sound insane, but there is such a thing as too much grip. These are pretty sticky rubber elements that do attach quite nicely to your insole. They're gonna give you grip, but if we compare it to two of the other socks that have a different style, for example, the Vision Grip socks, which actually spread out and there's more sock available with some grip, and then the Pure socks, which only have grip through those key contacts contact areas, those are socks that have thought about the fact that too much grip is a bad thing, too much grip is gonna make the socks uncomfortable, and too much grip can actually lead to problems like blisters. These just are, it's just a ton of grip for the sake of a ton of grip. It doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense. I don't love it. The shape of the grip isn't particularly bad. It's all these kind of M shapes, which do lead the sock to being fairly flexible, which is always a good thing. So too much of it in too many places, but the shape and style and the actual tackiness is okay. Let's talk about value and also the durability at the same time, because if the durability is poor, the value is lessened. And that is the thing I'm gonna start with here because these are already starting to pull. There's threads coming out everywhere. In here, in this ventilation system, it's very thin, the material here, and it's already starting to pull. And generally, like even for eight euros, it's a bit disappointing. The material through the forefoot seems to be fairly well stitched and 
I'm just not impressed. It just seems to be a cheaply put together sock with cheap materials. And you can argue, of course, that these are only eight euros, which is significantly less than most of the other socks that I have shown you. But what's the point in buying something at eight euros if it's just not good enough? And this is where I come back to a point that I made earlier that I'm gonna make in another video, which is that you don't need grip socks. Like, Grip socks are a nice addition if you feel you need them and if they do a good job for you and if they are comfortable. These just don't cover many of those issues and we go back to what I said in my tier list ranking video for grip socks. Would I wear these over a pair of Nike Crews? And the answer is absolutely not. I would rather have a well-fitting, comfortable, well-made sock without grips than wear this. And these are basically the same price as a pair of Nike Crew. At this point in the video, while we're discussing value, while I've told you they're eight euros, because they're grip socks, I'm sure if you've watched the channel for a while, you were expecting me to launch into a huge rant about how shipping is too expensive. Can't do it. Shipping was free. Didn't pay a penny for it. No, no rant. Or is there? I knew it! Shipping was free for me because Top Spec Sports are an Irish based company and they ship free within Ireland. So I got these for eight euros, no shipping included. Now that might sway a few of you in Ireland to pick up these socks because you're like, oh wow, that's a lot cheaper than even picking up, for example, the Game the Edge, the next cheapest option that we have here. However, if you are outside Ireland, the general universal flat rate shipping that seems to go to absolutely everywhere in the world is 16 euros, which makes these very expensive for what they are. Because to conclude briefly, I honestly believe that these are no better than something you could pick up from, say, AliExpress, from Wish, from something like that. There is little to no design detail gone into this. The quality is fairly poor. The thought process into this is quite bad. And honestly, out of all of these socks, which some I have criticized previously for basically being a glorified tube sock with rubber elements, this is the most glorified tube sock with some rubber elements stuck on the bottom. And I don't expect that they are going to last very long. I would absolutely not buy them again, even at eight euros. Um, they're just not good enough, in my opinion. We will, of course, rank them. If you missed my tier ranking video, then do click up in the top corner where you can pick that up. But we will add these to the existing tier ranking video and they're gonna go in the very bottom category with the Unisport socks, which I absolutely slammed. Now the Unisport socks are worse. They're still the worst things I've pretty much ever put on my feet. So they get to go above that, but they're not, I just cannot recommend them. Bottom category, absolutely a no buy from me, even at eight euros. Do you have a pair of top spec sports grip socks? If you do, then please let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think. Have I been way too harsh on maybe your favorite socks? Of course, like the video and get subscribed to the channel to pick up all of my future grip sock and boot review videos, including coming very soon, this, the Pure Grip Socks Pro Review. But that's all from me here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one. We will see you very soon.